Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, uh, September 28th. It is the most wonderful time of the year, the start of the horror marathon. First off, sorry I didn't get this video posted yesterday. I work graveyards and Tuesday night was just hell. If you work in any type of grocery store or uh, something like that, and you have inventory, you know what I'm talking about. And we had ours, it was just hell, absolute hell. Even though I only work five hours, it was hell. I was so exhausted yesterday, I couldn't even go across the street to get my lottery ticket. So I was like, eh, do it the next day. So started the marathon on the 22nd like I usually do. Found out the first day of fall was the 23rd, but I was like, no, I'm doing it on the 22nd. It has started on the 22nd for like seven years, so I'm continuing on that. I, ha I have watched 33 films. I have no life. <laughs> but I did get six first-time viewings watched. That's pretty damn good. Two on the first day. That were actually pretty good. Just need a drink. I got my Starbucks. <laughs> my mocha cookie crumble without coffee because I don't like coffee. I would rather spend the six... Uh, 71 for this, then three something for the watered down shit at Tim Hortons, let me tell you that. <laughs> but you're not here for my Starbucks, you're here for the horror movies. So I started September 22nd, like I've done the last couple of years with a movie from the year I was born. And this time I picked Alligator, which I love. I love this film. I only saw it for the first time, I think, a couple of years ago. Still thanks to Absolute Sublime One for... Um, for sending me, well, I bought it off him, but the DVD of Alligator and I upgraded. I don't usually do the 4K, but it was the only way to get Alligator on Blu-ray. But I love this movie. It is so good. And then I got, and if you're wondering, the book is still here. I still have so many pages. And actually, I started this right at midnight on um, the 22nd. Because, like I said, I work graveyards. I'm usually up till three four in the morning so i watched that and then i watched 1931's dracula with bella lugosi and then i went to bed i woke up and i watched the spanish version for number three um and then uh for number four i watched the thing from another world again rented from the library because this thing runs up to thirty dollars um, on e e on Amazon and eBay for the Blu-ray, so it's like, ugh. Number five, probably the only, really, only the Asylum, the only Asylum film I like, the flubs are still here, and that is 110 Ghost Street, The Return of Richard Speck. And a funny thing about this is, I didn't know Richard Speck was a real person. I told this movie to my dad, he's like, you know that was a real person, right? I go, what i looked it up he was a real person and did do what was in this film like the the nurses thing that's all i'll say about that but i was like holy shit it's actually real <laughs> wow and um the first first time viewing was on shutter and i watched the house on sorority row i liked it it was good 80s fun um i'm also my check, my three checklists are over there, but my ones for the In Search of Darkness trilogy, In Search, um, in, uh, House on Sorority Row was one of them. I finally got to watch it. I gave it a seven and a half out of ten. I actually liked it, so I might be picking up the Blu-ray pretty soon. Even though the only way I can get it is spend thirty-two dollars at Sunrise Records, because our Walmart's up here in Canada. It's like nothing anymore in the uh dvd in the entertainment section i think they're going under or something not walmart but the entertainment section because everybody's either getting sunrise records ebay amazon and i think your guys's best buys suck from the last time i heard same as with ours so moving on number seven i watched on tubi and that was the children from 1980 also on in search of darkness uh, three as well as um, House on Sorority Row. It was good, uh, kind of a little hokey at some points, but I enjoyed it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. And then ended that night number 8. I watched 8 films that day. The OG House on Haunted Hill. 
And then for September 23rd, oh, my eyes getting blurry. That's not a good sign. Um, oh, shit. I don't know if it's the light or if I'm going to get a migraine. Ugh, hope not. <laughs> Number nine for um, September 23rd was the Blair Witch Project. Number 10, Friday the 13th. And number 11, first time viewing. Um, this was also on In Search of Darkness 3, and I was like, oh, I own that. Um, no, not a dud. I gave it a 6.5 out of 10, but I probably will never watch it again. So I will be getting rid of it, and that is The Boogeyman. Um, interesting concept, but it was very slow at some points. Um, it kind of wasn't what I was expecting, even though on In Search of Darkness 3, it looked awesome. But yeah, I'm happy to say I finally watched it. But um, yeah, it will be going in the pond pile. And then for number 12, Night of Living Dead. And number 13 and 14 are from the same set. I I wish I would have watched this as a kid. I knew, I know I would have loved it as a child. Um, it's a made-for-TV movie, both of them. But um, I got... Not even 40 minutes into it, and I paused it. I went out to see my dad, and I held up held up this DVD. I go, this is what I'm watching, and I like it. I watched The Night Stalker and The Night Strangler for number 13 and 14. I fucking loved The Night Stalker. I enjoyed it. I was having so much fun with it. I wish I would have watched this as a as a kid. I, knew, I know I would have loved it. Um... And I do have the TV series. I think you saw this in um, one of my uh, previous DVD Blu-ray updates. Um, I will be watching that in the marathon. I haven't even started one of the TV shows yet, but I gave The Night Stalker an eight out of 10, Night Strangler seven out of 10. I did enjoy that one, but I loved The Night Stalker, which is so far the best first time viewing I've watched this marathon. If you haven't seen either of these two with Darren McGavin, you know, um, Christmas, the dad from Christmas Story. Um, I definitely recommend these. And then I ended that night with Jaws, my ninth favorite film of all time. Now switch the paper. Okay, and for September 24th, there were no first time. Oh, I lied. There was a first time viewing. <laughs> okay, so actually, did I watch... I thought I watched, I said six, I think I meant seven. Um, I watched Paranormal Activity. Oh no, I lied. I for, I didn't put it in. Rewind. I watched Scream. I just forgot it in the pile here because it's actually in a, in a set. So yeah, I started um, the 24th with Scream because I do have Scream 5 and 6 and I still have not watched those yet. And I want to note, either to, tonight, Friday night or Saturday night, I'm going to see Saw 10. I have never seen a Saw movie in the theater. So uh, I actually do want to see Saw 10. So yeah, this was number 16. Paranormal, ugh, this was 17. We'll just move on. <laughs> okay, and number 18 was a first time viewing. It was okay. It was kind of the but I did enjoy it. Seven eyes. You you know the moments where you do enjoy it, but there is something off. And I watched um, Extraterrestrial. This is done by the two guys who did Grave Encounters. Um, yeah, you know, I enjoyed it for what it was, but it would it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting a little bit more, but I gave it a seven a seven out of ten. So I will be keeping this one. Okay, and for. Number 19, I watched Nosferatu. I finally own this. It did cost me a pretty penny, but cheaper than the Blu-ray, so. And then another one that I had to keep renting from the library, and it was 25 on Amazon, and I was like, it's still a little too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it went down to 18 and I bought it. If you haven't watched this movie, I so recommend it. Pontypool. It is a Canadian zombie movie, and even though this came out in 2008, I'm not spoiling it of how they became zombies because it is a very interesting and unique way of how they became zombies in this movie. 
and ended um where did it go it's right here <laughs> I forgot. and then ended that night with a double feature i watched frankenstein and bride of frankenstein for number 21 and 22 i think that's it for for that so i will just put that over there oh nope i lied <laughs> so for the 25th Number 23, I watched Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now this set is done. And number 24, I checked out my new Blu-ray of Lucio Fulci's Zombie. Oh, yeah. Um, I only saw this for the first time earlier this year because I think this was the first movie shown for um, Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs, which was announced. It's getting a season six. I'm so happy about that. But finally have it i kind of this cover i was like it wasn't the one i wanted i wanted the one with the zombies on the bridge because that's the one i liked but the picture quality was excellent on this but i do i don't mind that lenticular cover but i wanted the the zombies on the bridge because that looked cool and then for number 25 i watched prom night on my new blu-ray definitely worth the, the upgrade and then number 26, I watched Jaws 2, one of my favorite horror film sequels. Where it ranks, I don't know, because number one is The Conjuring 2, and number two is Psycho 2. And then ended that night, 27, 28, with All Hallows' Eve and All Hallows' Eve 2. Um, I probably will rewatch Terrifier, because I do have Terrifier 2, and I, I'm trying to bang out a lot of my first-time viewings. Um... Like, I've gotten through a couple that I own, not just streaming. So, number, or, uh, for September 26th, number 29 was Scream 2. So I can put that back because I, I have to watch Scream 3. Um, number 30, another one rented from the library. Still too expensive on either eBay or Amazon. Them. And I really like this movie. I want to get it. And then number 31 was Friday the 13th Part 2. And number 32 was the first time viewing that I watched on Shudder called The Lair. It was actually pretty good. Um, I gave it a 7 out of 10. I know 7 out of 10 seems to be some of the norm with some of my uh, first time viewings. Um, but this is the one that was showcased where a female pilot, fighter pilot, gets shot down. And then she goes into this underground bark. Bung. <laughs> bunker and there's like these weird alien kind of things and what intrigued me even though his one movie was absolute garbage <laughs> um was directed by neil marshall the director of dog soldiers and the descent and the hideous i say hideous even though i gave it a seven out of ten the re remake of hellboy but i once i saw neil marshall's name i was like okay i have faith <laughs> I would give it a 7 out of 10. It was good. Some of the gore in this was pretty good for me. <laughs> my, my taste in gore has changed a lot in the last few years. I don't know why. I'm me. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just cuckoo. What can I say? Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. <laughs> but, but yeah, I noticed that after the car accident for a long time, I couldn't watch excessive gore because of the head injury. So, but um, like, I'm gonna watch Terrifier 2, I'm going to see Saw 10, so what the hell. Um, so number 33, and it was the last one of that night, because that's when I had to go to work. Um, this was the first dud, real dud. I say real dud, but I gave it a 5 out of 10. But it is a movie called Boo. Um, yeah, a haunted asylum type movie. Uh, the only saving grace is that D. Wallace was in it. But overall, it just wasn't what I expected. Kind of blah. One of the characters, I just, you know, you got that one character, you just want him to fucking die. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was like, uh, this is disappointing. So five out of 10 and going in the pond pile. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is everything I have watched from uh, September 22nd to the 26th. Um, I didn't get a lot watch yesterday because I was, uh, that's how tired I was. I only watched three films yesterday and I've had so much running around to do today. Uh, that sounded good in my head, but I don't know how that sounded. <laughs> um, 
I haven't even started watching a movie. Um, but hopefully tonight, get get my ass in gear and start watching some stuff. So yeah, you guys uh, let me know what you think of these titles. Which ones do you like? Um, and uh, the blind buys, or not the blind buys, uh, the first time viewings, which one is your favorite? I know which one's my favorite. The Night Stalker, I fucking love that one. I can't wait to start this the TV show. So my next video should be, I will hopefully have it up on Tuesday, depending on how terrible work <laughs> is. Um, but we shall see. So until next week, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Watch a shitload of movies. And of course, as always, like, comment, please subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye, guys.